Hey guys, I'm NoBZ Studios, and today we are finally taking a look at Hogwarts Great Hall from Lego Harry Potter. So this video is going to be pretty, pretty long. Hopefully it's not over 20 minutes, but hopefully it's over 10 minutes, because you know you got to say it. So let's just get right into it. The main part you guys all came here to see is the hall itself, so we're going to do that first. Like, right off the bat, you can see how much detail is there. There is so much detail that it took so much time. You had to put in, like, 35 windows in single-handed piece by piece it took a while but then you get some really really good detailing like once again more rock textures with these nice new leaves that they put it in that they put in these aren't new I know but they are new to me basic detailing more rock detailing right there just got all all over the place and I mean this part alone just by looking at it like that looks really really big it looks giant but it's really really not you see the attention to detail over here on this piece, see, on these pieces over here, like you got some more brick patterns right here. These little nice new diamond shapes, I believe those are new, like the four-sided triangle diamond. Got these going all across the building over there. Nice roofing, that roof is really, really nice. Got more, more pillars right there, more columns of the castle. This is a mix between like a micro scale and then a... A full scale like that's the full scale back there and like this part right here so moving towards the front here we can now see where Hagrid will be sitting right there where that little rat is that is Ron's rat rat such a good new mold for a mouse and or rat piece I don't know what this is but yeah it's really really nice looking mold new it's bigger and it's a nice color too like it a lot these huge got the huge giant doors over here these doors are my favorite they are super cool um yeah just a lot of room in here you could fit a ton of figures you could probably fit all 10 figures in that little corner right here that's right we have 10 figures in here this set does like stickers so like the once again these little rock things right here are stickers these aren't out in a why just see how big and tall this piece is right here it's about a foot tall i'd say it's about one foot you can just see my lights and uh got a little clock above those doors that is also a sticker and yeah, just got some more little little details. So now going into the inside of this thing, let's go through this little column here first because it's saved the best for last, I guess. So down here is amazing. This is probably one of my favorite parts of the entire set other than the next part that didn't make any sense. But you can see we just got some brooms right here on this little, little clip. There is nothing behind this little pillar right here, which you're probably wondering like, hey, what's that pillar about? Well, that is actually stairs, if you believe it or not. And look at that. Those stairs are super, super cool. I never had a set with these stairs. I think some firefighter sets and, like, city sets had that. And if you look in the background, we have a yellow... Yes, that is right, a yellow frog. That is pretty cool. It's not a real frog, it's a statue. And up here, once again, we have more flasks. Just because we can't really get enough of them. And we also get some more... Paramire crystals and some in that pot right there really really great stuff I don't know and here is my favorite little thing mainly because of that Decision hat right there. I forget what it's called. I'll look it up later But you can see let's just take that out right now because that is something that is really really fun to see this is not the first time we've seen this, believe it or not. They actually decided to mold it now, and that looks so much better. This is such a nice piece. This is very collectible, too. Um, I looked it up on eBay, and this piece is going for $20 alone. We have this new mold of a spider, which I appreciate this new mold, mainly because of its legs. I mean, look at that. That is... That's freaky. I feel like it's a spider in my hand, which it is, technically, but not really. So... Yeah, look at that. It's huge, too. It's a pretty big spider. It's the size of a, a nickel or, yeah, just about a nickel. So that's what he looks like in my palm. Looks real. Looks cool. And then you have this little treasure chest right here, which I believe just has... Oh, this chest can actually just detach off of that one 2x2 two two jumper right there. And it just has your basic good gems. And now that is not it for this little thing. We actually got one more, which is the attic. Now, this is really, really cool. Because that is the Mirror of Erised. Now this has a... I don't remember what it is. I think it's like flashbacks. Because Harry Potter looks in the mirror and he sees a family, I think. So you can take this out. And it, this is a sticker right there. You can see the camera. But that's alright. There's a sticker. He's fishing. I believe that's um, Harry Potter. I'm not sure. Now, I don't remember the movie. I watched the movie. That is Professor Quirrell. It's like Squirrel, but Quirrell. Quirrell. It's a weird name to say. But he's cool. Um... You get him in the set too, which is nice. 
Lots of stickers right here. Um, I like the nice golden use of these cones in this little thing right here. And you also got one more, and that is Dumbledore. And I think it's Harry's family, his parents, I think, is on the other side. Yes, that is Harry Potter's family. I remember this scene in the movie. That's his family. And pretty cool stuff. I think that's a nice little neat, neat touch. And you can just see back in there, there's not much to see. And what I like to do is I like to place this right here. And then you can now just place this piece back where it belongs. Very nice. That give you a space for everything to uh, be organized in your sets. And last but certainly not least is the room. Now, this is very nice. So you got two brooms. You get a black one and then a brown one right there. You can see on the other side right there is black and right there is brown. And you got these four tables. You got some little dinery, little diner stuff. You got ice cream. You got a tea and a cup, you know, because that's the most classic thing in the world. Uh, you got a turkey leg and a plate right there, and they got, I think that's a cupcake or something. And in the back back there, we got a fireplace, which is actually very, very nice. It has a little roof to it, which doesn't have a chimney. Those nice brown pieces with the nice little curls in it, really, really good. I like that piece a lot. You can also fit a lot of figures. This is the seating. This is where they sit. We just got probably the worst person on earth right there. He just can sit there and then we can also put like Ron over there. And they are waiting to be chosen to get their to get their team chosen. This is where you have Professor McGonagall right here and I believe Dumbledore on the other side. They call up random people such as Harry Plopper, Harry Potter, and he can just sit right there and then they give him the hat. You see you got another white owl. I have like 24 owls now. That's awesome. I'll show you my aloe collection in another video. You just see the amount of detail in here. There is a ton of detail. Just the windows and the roofing, the beams, the the crown molding, all that good stuff. Now, going up to the roof. You got the floating candles. You got the four floating candles. Then you got the Gryffindor and the Slytherin banner. Those are stickers. And on the back of them, you can just see it. Flip it up like that. You got, I think that's Hufflepuff. And then over here is... I forget, I think this one's Hufflepuff, and then Ravenclaw. Okay, so that one is Ravenclaw, because it's the bird. Alright, I remember. Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, and Slytherin. Now, that took too long. So, okay, so going to the back here, you can also see we have more windows, which this part looks very, very nice, nice and chunky. Got more brick pieces right there. And then these pieces right here make it look like so it's rounded off. It's like a little ledge. It's very, very nice. Got more rocks down here. Loads of windows, like I said, nice roofing, and not much to see up here other than some more like little windows. I kind of feel like I didn't enjoy this part enough. Like you see that this is brick built. These, this little piece right here is brick built. These two, and then these, this is all just one solid piece. Not one solid piece, but multiple like three pieces to make that up. And then you just got that, and it looks detailed. It's pretty good. I think it's a nice looking column, all in all. And you can also see we've got more stickers and more windows. The set is very, very big. Um, it's a lot bigger than that you think. And just just imagine it. I mean, this connects to another set. It gets even bigger than what it is now. Just keep that in mind. If you have the shelf space, just keep that in mind. All right. I forgot to point out, at the little doors there, you got two little micro figures. Very, very neat. Um, nothing special, but nice little detailing for the little set. First of all, we have this brown boat, which is really, really nice. It says on the box that the boat does not float. We are going to test that and see if it's true. But you can see we have a nice little black lamp right here. And then the light is actually a, uh, a minifigure head. You can take that off and put that on a figure. But that is kind of a, a big deal of the thing. You need that light to see. And then you got a little golden stud on the tip. I don't know why that's there for decoration. And the boat, you, we've seen this boat before in the past, like a long, long time ago. And yeah, not much to say. You can fit up to four figures in there. I have just Ron, Hermione, Harry Potter, and then uh, Ginny, I believe. And yeah, it fits four figures fine. It got one, two, one set apart. And yeah, that is the brown boat. Next up, we have Swoop Fox, which I believe is Dumbledore's parrot. Now, he is a cool looking build. Um, he is red with some orange and a black beak. You can see they use a thorn piece for his like little mohawk. Really good build. You can see he has a clip 
for his foot, which you can clip that onto stuff if you wanted to. Um, really not so much to say other than he is a brick built bird. Yeah, they use a lot of colored pieces. They use uh, the red, the black, and then I think that's like an orange, like translucent piece right there. Like, you got a big piece right here for the tail. Really long tail. And yeah, that is, uh, that's the bird that Dumbledore has. Next up, believe it or not, this snake is Voldemort. Now, Voldemort can, like, transform into animals. Like, I think he, he does, he, he goes into a snake and I think he can do a bird, I believe, if I remember correctly. But yeah, this snake is awesome. He has some massive fangs and his mouth does open up and down just like so. He has some nice little glowing eyes and he is built with joints so he can actually move around just like this, like you can twirl him around. Pretty cool. He has little ovals on the bottom of him just so like he don't scratch up your surface of the desk and he's not gonna get ruined either and it just looks more professional. Alright guys, now next up we are gonna take a look at the minifigures. Now before you guys comment anything where their wands are at, I don't know why but I don't, I, there's something in me that they don't want them to take them off of their factory plastic that they're molded in you know. So just keep that in mind, it's okay, they all come with wands. There's a ton of wands, these are all the wands that you get in the Great Hall and the Whomping Willow. It's a ton of wands, so. So first of all, we have Harry Potter. All these wizards have the same exact clothing except for the little tie. So Harry Potter is obviously a Gryffindor character. He has that good looking hair piece that we've seen before. And he also has the two faces. He has this normal face with a scar as always. And on the back he has this freaked out face. It's the same exact Harry Potter from the Whomping Willow except a different torso. Uh, good figure overall, like the new hair piece a lot. What do you guys think? Is this a better Harry Potter than the old one? The old one looks like this. Um, yeah. The new one obviously looks better, but the old one has better torque. Ron Weasley and Hermione, these are both Gryffindor. And obviously, uh, I really like uh, the Snuffleupagus hair on Hermione. Got that nice face right there, and the other face is also scared. Same exact torso as Harry Potter. And same thing with Ron Weasley. Um, same torso, same everything as the Whomping Willow. But he does have that nice red hair and this nice mold. Like that a lot. Flipping him around. He also has that really, really nice looking face expression, which I like a lot. Susan Bones. Now, I don't remember this character again from the movie. But she does have some nice red hair, which has the bangs, of course. And her hair is actually a nice little rubber piece. It's rubber, not plastic. Um, I think she's a Hufflepuff because her tie is a different color. If I'm... Yeah, I think she's a Hufflepuff. Simple smirk on the face as a front and on the back face, she is sad. Last but not least of the little wizards, we have Draco Malfoy, which this guy is a brat in the movie. Um, he is a Slytherin, of course. He does not deserve to be a Gryffindor. You can see that his tie is black instead of the other colors. I don't think they use this color for the mold. You can see he is also, he isn't really happy in both faces. The first face he's kind of like serious and the other one he's, he's really really angry. Who really cares because this guy is not the nicest. Good figure though if you don't have a Draco. Dumbledore, this is my first Dumbledore and it is the best Dumbledore in my opinion. Love the little detailing on his little legs and torso. I can take his beard off so you can see it later. His hairpiece is new I believe, I, I think it is. But once again, that's a nice hair piece. Really, really cool looking. Really long too. It's really nice gray color in this in it too. Smirk his little smile with his glasses on, and then on the back he has he does not have his glasses on. I think he's more tired in this one, but that's okay. So let me just put him together without his beard. Here we go. That's what he looks like without the beard. More detailing on the torso looks really, really good. Nearly headless Nick. Now this guy is a ghost in the movie. He's dead. He's not for real. He's a uh, ghost who tells Harry Potter stuff. Yeah, um, you can't see him of course because he's a ghost. I'm just kidding. Really, really good detailing on the torso. Still can't get over how good the detailing is on these Harry Potter figures. Um, on the back, you can see he has more of the detailing. Really, really great stuff, dude. Uh, white hands because he's a ghost. White head, he's a ghost. Um, I do like the white head. Um, he he kind of looks like a, uh, a chef, you know, from the city. A chef face. On the front and on the back, he is sad. A lot of these figures are sad. And you can see that this hairpiece is a nice hairpiece. Next up we have is Professor Quirrell. I like this guy a lot, mainly because of his bandana. Or his head piece, his hat. This is a newer mold of the hat. We got this in series 12, 13, 16, I don't remember. 
Um, it looks pink to me, but I parents say it's purple. Oh well. Remember in the movie, he always had like some kind of necklace or like a no, a uh, a scarf. Got more detailing underneath the scarf. Can't really see it though. Regular black pants. Not much on the back. But if we just take off this awesome hat piece, you can see he's normal. But then the other face is scary. If you're a little kid and you're kind of scared of stuff, I recommend you look away right now. Cause boo, that is freaky. I believe he turns into Voldemort. I'm not sure. I think he just burns up and then his skin melts, if I remember from the movie. Because Harry Potter had to fight him. But look at that. That is very, very, very scary. I think he just puffs out too. Spoiler alert. Look at that. Alright, let's move on to the next figure that's more friendly. Professor McGonagall is another nice figure to get in this set. I don't have the old ones of her, but the one I see right in front of me right now is one of my favorites already. Now, you can see that she has more detailing on the robes right there. Still can't get over it. Nice little necklace right there. The robe goes down from a torso down to her legs. Good detailing on the back. It's like little flowers. That's cool. Uh, basic black witch's hat. And then she has that nice little face right there. And on the back, she is angry. You can kind of see the face from the hat, but it's okay. It just looks like a little little wrinkle. Now, saving the greatest for the lastest, we have Hagrid. Now, thank you, Lego, so much for not putting in these freaky little, freaky little fingers from the old Hagrid. That is so awesome. And thank you once again for making the hands removable and the arms removable. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The detailing on this guy is so much nicer, so much better, much more crisp. He has a lamp and then a pink uh, uh, balloon. I mean, umbrella. <laughs> Looks good in that color. We had one in black from the penguin and penguin penguin mobile from like a Batman movie. There he is. You can see that he doesn't look like a Duplo figure anymore. Here it is side by side. The older one is taller, but then the older one also had that ugly looking boot molding molded into him. I'll go, I'll make a review on the other Harry Potter sets I have further into that. This guy has removable little short legs. Very, very nice. You can actually take him off. His hairpiece is plastic and it looks much better in my opinion. Lego has done a fantastic job on this character. You can see his head hasn't changed much from the older, older Hagrid. It's almost the same, but it doesn't have that weird freak, freaky smile anymore. Uh, I don't think he has a second face. No, he doesn't. Nothing on the back. Basic figure but very, very, very detailed. Like him a lot. Alright guys, thank you for tuning in to this video. This is the Hogwarts Great Hall. If you guys want to see more videos like this review, like the video, and subscribe if you're brand new. If you like my content, comment down below, and see you guys in the next video. Peace out.